try to get a, an internship somewhere uh, just to see what it's really like. Go take a temporary job in an architecture office, even if you're just doing admin work. Season yourself to what it means to work with teams of people in different locations. Traveling the world, seeing how other people organize themselves and involve buildings in their culture. Try to get as much exposure to different types of architecture as you can. Make painting, sculpture, woodworking. Study and observe other established architects dive in and work for somebody and understand the business development side. Especially as you start to understand what's important to you, what you're best at, what you want to be doing. Careful how you weigh salary versus what is your end goal. So what's next down the line for you and how can you achieve that? To continue to seek out the challenges so that you keep learning. You have to be able to communicate with people. I have to be able to communicate when and why things are done. Get used to standing up talking in front of people. Sketch, sketch all the time. Sketch the world around you. Sit yourself across the street from a big building and, and sketch it. When you sketch and you draw, it tells a bit about yourself but also the soul of what your idea is. So little doodles and sketches and all that are really important to see. I want to see like crazy thoughts in a portfolio from school. Like don't play it safe for your projects in school. It's okay to fail sometimes. Unexpected things will happen, but at the end of the day, it's all part of the process. Just know that it's going to take time. We always want to get to the end, but I think the beauty is enjoying the process. Always check yourself. Uh, ask yourself, you know, like, what is my purpose? Am I, am I aligned with my purpose? I want architects to be successful because the world needs good design. Know your true self and know what your dreams are. Just pick your passion and chase it. Those people that are successful within our profession or any profession are those that really can't help themselves. They just love it so much. I got my dream job and you know, so many people I know in this profession would say the same thing. It's not artistic talent. It's not engineering talent. It's not a certain capacity in the brain. And it's just relentless commitment to something you want to do. Great place for us to leave it. Thank you so much for, for taking the time. This was absolutely excellent. We really, really appreciate you and your expertise here.